What's up guys? This is Chimeze with Todd Stack. Laravel 5.7 was recently released and as usual with every release of Laravel, it came with a lot of exciting features. In this series, we'll be looking at some of these new features. To get started, let's create a new Laravel application. We now have a fresh Laravel 5.7 application. So I can open the application. By the way, I'm using Laravel Valet. Let's open the application in our preferred code editor. I'll be using VS Code. Then let's set up our database. I've created a database for this series, which is Laravel 5.7. Then my username is root and the password is blank. How many times have you had to write custom logic for email verification in your Laravel applications? Well, I have a couple of times. Those days are over as Laravel 5.7 now ships with email verification. To see how the new email verification works, let's run the make out command, which generates basic login and registration views along with the necessary routes. Let's give this a refresh. We now have a login and register page. Before we can start using the email verification, the user model needs to implement an interface, which is must verify email. That is implement Also, the user's table must have an email verified at column, which is now added to the default user's table migration, as you can see. One last thing we need to do is enable verify routes. We can pass an array, then set verify to true. And that is all we have to do to have email verification for new users. Before we head over to the browser and test this out, let's quickly set our email driver to log. Let's not forget to run our migration. Now we can register. I have been registered and logged in. If we check the Laravel log, we should see a verification email. As you can see, verify email address. There's the content of the email. All the user needs to do is click on the verification link and their email address will be verified. We can also enforce users to verify their email address before they can access certain routes using a verified middleware that comes with the email verification feature. So all we need to do is protect the routes with the middleware. Let's say we want to make the home routes not just accessible to only logged in users, but users that have verified their email address. Now if you give this a refresh, we should get a message. Uh, before proceeding, please check your email for a verification link. So now we are required to verify our email address before we can access the home route. So let's click the verification link to verify our email address. I'll copy this and paste it over. Now my email address has been verified and I can access the home route. Also, if you look at the user's table, Give this a refresh. We should now see that this user has been verified at this particular time. And we can use this value however we like in our application. You will notice upon verification, we are redirected to the home route. We can easily customize this by changing the redirect path, which you can do inside the verification controller. 
So we can set a direct to whatever we want. Also, if you need to customize the verification email, you can find it inside the resources slash views slash auth folder, which is the verify.blade.php file. So you can customize it however you like. So that is all about the email verification features. I don't know about you, but this will save me a lot of time in my next Laravel application. So that's it guys. See you in the next video, where we'll look at another features of Laravel 5.7. As always, remember to hit the subscribe button to be notified once the new videos are up. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and leave your comments below the video.